Hello everyone. So uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to read the data into Cotia Magix SML through serial interface. That's very common that your device would communicate through serial interface and here we see ESP32 based device it's connected through cable it can it sends the data to uh, MQTT server to the internet, but uh, also it is connected to the internet uh, to the uh, PC. And as you can see here, we have serial monitoring, right? Uh, and this uh, specific uh, characteristics of that. Um, and this project you can find actually in the video description and community. So now let's see how to connect. Uh, and first of all, we need to uh, transform, transform from the serial to Katia Magic. Katia Magic will run uh, through MQTT connection library. So how you can transform? It's uh, the most simple way is actually using Node-RED. So let's go to the Node-RED, which is installed and running on my PC. And uh, here we go, Node-RED. And here in Node-RED, uh, we can find a library for, for serial uh, monitoring. Serial, serial port, as you can see here, this one. And installed here. Once you installed, here we have a node for the serial communication here we have it serial in we'll specify characteristics okay which port uh, and what the rate so rate is that uh, port is this uh, data done and then we can actually uh, debug debug deploy read okay are communicating to the port likely because it already communicates to this interface to Arduino IDE so let's close it and let's clean it okay so now we get communication you see here we get the data sending value 72.7 it's okay but the problem is that it is in the string right I want just a number right so how to extract the number so the number to extract to the method to extract the number we'll just ask chat gpt so the last chat gpt can you write the node red code function to to get number from string you can take first one only ignore empty in do not do not provide empty or non number out okay it tells us even how to connect uh, that function and create it uh, and uh, also it gives us a flow how to import but uh, we already have a flow so now okay it's just uh, go here take the function here double click paste the code done and now let's see what is the outcome deploy okay we get results but also we see empty results here you see now null and if in cameo we'll get that null we'll get uh, empty values so we don't want those empty values so let's eliminate that uh, let's introduce the change maybe switch here and then uh, there'll be a condition condition 
is not null it's not now okay deploy and now we see that we get just right output always correct now uh, let's go to Cameo and to Katia Magic and let's set up. So we starting from empty project here. We have just library of connection to MQTT hardware and IoT. And here we have block with some properties like uh, host, port, uh, client, uh, and uh, number array. Uh, let's uh, create uh, now flow that would be activity diagram right here and let's uh, first of all open connection and let's next uh, uh, subscribe to topic and uh, uh, last but not least actually we need to know topic and that reminds me that we didn't uh, actually specified communication with uh, MQTT from Node-RED. So let's come back to the Node-RED uh, here and let's specify that uh, MQTT here. Double click, Kito test. Here we have this locally running mosquito server topic will be pin one let's say and that's it deploy now you can change the quality of communication here you see qos you can change uh, other characteristics some of them but in any case that's like pretty much what you and then here we'll say okay a or like topic equal pin one that's string and uh, output will be uh, will go here and here will be topic or like a equal pin one a is output it comes here it goes here and content comes back and that content will be added to temp temp equal x and that is coming here as a result and that's uh, x it's of type real that's all good and then here after that we have cycle back merge and here after this we go here and here we can come back after so here we see this circle back going to the pin to the topic input topic get result output result coming back and here we connect i don't need client id and you need host i don't need port all the data is really coming inside of this script here open uh, connection you see here we have uh, server 127001 where we connect to the locally running mosquito broker and then here we just start the flow this output is connected is uh, not used uh, it is can be used but i don't not using it uh, and uh, now uh, that's pretty much it uh, i still need the property temperature right so i will create new value property which will be temp uh, and this will be type real okay now i should be able to run this uh, simulation okay so it looks like that behavior is not assigned specification Classify behavior is okay. Should execute. Okay, simulation run. Okay, runs and provides the value. You see, it all works so fast, right? So it is uh, actually just uh, based on the results availability here. 
whatever results available it triggers that recalculation here it, because it, it waits here until some input will come can actually slow down this animation but there is no need you know to slow down you just have cycle so the only thing what i would like to add is like simulation config simulation config it will be a temp read temp from serial and then here we have sensor and then we have a timeline chart temp and gain sensor and then here we have uh, values would be temp output zero one and uh, here and also uh, i could add requirement uh, to do the verification so let's add another one uh, block diagram here actually show my block add requirement uh, satisfy requirement of property temp limit and here temp shall be between 70 and 80 f save stop run again actually not run again run from config check that it's available okay it's available now I'm pressing the the temperature sensor and as you can see temperature is growing if it will reach us above the 80 it will start ver validation process that uh, the verification failed temperature is not satisfied and here we see some delay in this simulation if i don't want to see this delay again i could actually speed up yeah this will give much faster results so now i'm not pressing this sensor anymore see temperature suddenly drops again pressing And all that is communicated directly here from Node-RED to the Katia Magic through serial interface.